And I am ready to take you home. All your sins. <sighs> I think not. Look into the ninth circle of hell. Look into the dark, cold realm of the traitors. <sighs> God in heaven. Who is responsible for this? Take care of my sister. I am responsible. Hang him! Prepare to march tonight! When the noble Saladin learns of this atrocity, he will bring forth the forces of hell. Beatrice, I will protect you. to death for your crime! What is your answer for this treachery? No. I give up on this journey. My place is here in hell. Yours is in paradise. I am truly sorry for what I have done. May you one day forgive me. My cross. You've done well, Dante. And though you may not understand it now, you have saved much more than this innocent soul. For your role in the ongoing battle is more important than you can possibly imagine. I don't understand. Your redemption is near. Wait! I have to take care of her! I have come this far! Trust me. You will see her again. No. No, he won't. Oh, hey, Virgil. Spur yourself on, Dante. The final circle is near. What city is this that lies ahead? Because you pierce the darkness from afar, you stray in your imagination. When you reach the place below, you will see plainly how the sense is deceived by distance. These are not towers, but giants. Shade, tell me of these giants. One here is called Nimrod. The builder of Babel. For his great flaw, a single language is not shared throughout the world. And the others? The proud Ephialtes, who tried his strength against Jove. And Antaeus, the once invincible son of Mother Earth. It was nice having him company. Hey, to the jovial friars. The glorious Virgin Mary watches over us. I live the rest of my life doing penance. Traitor to family and country, he sits in. The lowest circle of hell. He murdered his own son the rest of my life doing penance. for the sake of revenge. Fra Al. To a holy order of friars. Find peace.
Don't get knocked off. Alright, there should be something up here, right? Yep. I killed Arthur to bring glory back to Britain. Mordred, King Arthur is a legitimate son. Father, you are worse than I could ever be. Who betrayed his father but and Lord. I killed Arthur to bring glory back to Britain. By raising his sword in battle against him. If I remember correctly, this part is kind of short. Treachery! For betrayed the love and trust that nature makes, at the center of the universe, in the seat of the devil himself, every traitor is consumed eternally. I'm sad. This is the last time I get to talk to Virgil. What makes this cold wind? Lo, dis himself, the emperor of the woeful realm. And lo, the place where you must arm yourself with fortitude. Master, will we speak again? Gird yourself for the final encounter. Think not on me. Should you prevail, I will see you on the other side. I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Amen. Oh. Okay, gotta walk slowly. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Oh Christ. Okay. Not that one. Okay, maybe- ah!
think that's it. Okay, good. Final fight. I don't like watching my son's star broke my heart. Count Ugolino. We suffered terribly in that prison. Hellion nobleman and naval commander. Watching my son's star broke my heart. Aligning himself with gulfs and ship lines. We suffered terribly in that prison. I like he switched alliances often. Watching my son's star. My heart. Until his ultimate imprisonment and death by starvation. We suffered terribly in that prison. My God. Thy kingdom come. Hey, I think I saved everyone. Nice. Okay, I think we're ready. Brave 
great Ulysses, the great Alexander, Attila, Lancelot. Only you possessed a soul black enough to free me. Oh, nice. Come on, bastard. Ow. And I have one bar of redemption. I guess there would be some repercussions to shooting the devil with holy energy. Wait, I can't block that, what? Go 
go down, man. Make it easy for both of us. Really use a boost here. There it is, there it is. That extra cheap shot. How dare you? Now.
wait! There's just one last minor detail with which I ought to make you familiar. You can't go anywhere. Not a single soul may leave this place. It is forbidden by him. I am so sick of you. I will reclaim my rightful place in paradise. My path will be paved with the sins of man, and yours, Dante, shall be the bedrock of my return. And all that is good shall be gone from the universe forever! Not yet. I have collected many souls on this pilgrimage. Souls that I have freed from this inferno. And together, they now possess the power to free me. Father, mother, brothers, console me! This power, Tante, we can use it together. You and I, friend, just think what we could achieve. I would rather not. I can reunite you with Beatrice. Together, we will rule the three kingdoms of the afterlife. It's not going to happen. I did not die, and I did not live. And then it never did get continued. Infernal, I'm I'm never gonna do this. I am never gonna do Infernal. Not even if he paid me. Well, maybe. But 
Maybe on Twitch. Anyways. Dante the Crusader, Dante. Making a baby. Resurrection mode. Play through in the nine circles of hell with your upgraded abilities. Right, well, that was Dante's Inferno. This was a... People call it a uh, God of War clone. I was about to say Grand Theft Auto. But I took it as its own personal thing. I took it as its own thing because, you know, it's very daunting making a game uh, based on religion. Christianity or Catholic, whatever you want to call it, whatever it says. And I don't know. The idea of going to hell and fighting the devil one on one sounds really, really cool. And the way they did it, the way they did it was. It was good. It was good in some parts. Other parts, it was awful. Uh. Parts that are coming to mind right now are like the uh, Ten Trials for the last two stages of Hell, which well, I, I guess there was only one, but like uh, I think it was violence. No, no, the, the one after the one with the Ten Trials. It was it, it just screamed tacky. Or, like, an afterthought. Like, not a lot of love was put into that. Uh, pretty interesting collectibles. Judas's coins. Absolving, uh... Or punishing the, uh... Damned. That was pretty cool. Relics. Added a lot of customization to, like, uh, four little slots. Which was fun. Uh, it got really, how do I say it? It was a little dumbed down because all you have is your scythe and your cross. And that is it for the whole game. Plus magic, but it's the same thing over and over again. Some things could have been better. Some weapons could have been a little bit more balanced. The, uh... The Righteous Path one was the most effective one, I want to say. Sons of the Father was my favorite. Uh, one of these days I should really watch the uh, animated uh, film. Because, well, I haven't heard it's really good, but I've been meaning to watch it ever since I beat the game. Um, soundtrack was really good. The, uh, convincing that it was hell that I was in because of the screaming and moaning was excellent. Monster design was on point. I wish there was more creativity on the monster side though because of, like yes you got your babies, you got your heretics, you got your gluttons you have your femboys but then like you know a little more a little more uh A little more variety would have been nice, in my opinion. Gameplay? Gameplay though, even though it was- oh, Graham McTavish, I should look him up. Two voice actors for death? Really? That's strange. I did all this in one take, I want to say.
like three days of recording session right after doing lollipop chainsaw because I wanted to get the film I think this is like what eight hours of footage now that I am not looking forward to rendering because it's gonna take a long 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 time uh, it is the 22nd of July right now so I have no idea how long this will take maybe maybe mid-august who knows maybe i'll be crazy and just upload this and the ending of manhunt in the same month as july maybe the same time as the lollipop chainsaw i don't know it'll depend uh i mean if you can get your hands on the game by all means do so good game The story. I don't know if I can really say there was much of a story. I mean, it's really the, the plot is really just Dante goes to hell to save Beatrice, and the devil's involved, and that's it, really, for a majority of the game. I'll always appreciate that collectibles like the. Uh, Go. I guess that that's what it was. It was fun to find. World building was good. Hell. Uh there are very few games that I know that depict hell, like uh what was it called? Agony and Scorn? Agony I know is ready out and uh, how do I say it? Like um It's known for being awful, from what I heard. Scorn, however, I am still looking forward to that game. It seems like a lot of fun. And eh, maybe I'll play it for the channel. If it doesn't get an AO rating. And I might already get demonetized for this. Because Satan had to have his pecker out. So, there's that. At the very least. What else to do after this? I have a few series in mind. Uh, I have a good portion of games on Steam, so if there's anything that you guys would like to see, please let me know in the comments. Uh, maybe I can say a little bit about myself. Uh, I did grow up Catholic back in the day. <laughs> back in the day. Uh, when I was younger. And like, uh, I don't know, I just kind of grew out of it the, the more we uh, stopped going to church. My uh, opinion? Believe anything that makes sense to you. And that is all I'd have to say on that. This was a nice game to go through 
and having the opportunity to share it with you guys. And I know there is Gates of Hell and the Dark Forest, but personally, those are... I don't know how to feel about them. Again, if you guys want me to go through it for you... Uh, if you guys want me to go through it... You know, exploring it, please let me know and we'll give it a go. Oh, I have tried Trials of St. Lucia, so if there's anything in the comments that you guys want me to try, that is possible, let me know. And yeah, that's Dante's Inferno. See you later, everyone.